UK Sausage Week is back, and this year, Pritchett's the Butcher decided to get involved in the fun. They entered a number of their best bangers into the National Sausage Week competition, and it's fair to say that the Salisbury Butchers did pretty well. So every year, the UK uh, Sausage Week, they do a national competition, um, so entrants from all around the country enter. Uh, and we, we entered, we haven't entered a competition for a long time, I thought it was about time we tried it out. And we entered four categories, we came runner-up with our chicken, chilli and smoked paprika, and our pork and our pork, crack black pepper and herb uh, came highly commended by the judges. Sausage Week is about more than just competition, and for the next seven days, Pritchett's will be making a number of special varieties, and there's even a spooky sausage treat too. So, of course, being UK Sausage Week this week, um, we've got 12 varieties in, on display in the window to buy. Um, we've even done a special novelty Halloween um, sausage, which is uh, pork, pumpkin, sweet pepper and red onion, which have proven very popular. For over 150 years now, Pritchett's the Butcher have been serving the Salisbury community. And to this day, it's still a real family business with family recipes. Um, coming up, I took the business on 20 odd years ago off my brother. Um, Charles has now come into the business full time as a partner. I've got my younger son Tom as well that works here. My mum and dad still work here as well. And the recipes that we've worked on over years and years, but my granddad made sausages, my dad made sausages, so of course we've had tips and everything from them as well. So, which is why we, our sausage has been very, very popular. They've had sausage success for over a century now, and even in 2018, Pritchett's are tweaking their stock in order to serve as many people as possible. Yeah, we, we introduced gluten-free about a year ago now, and they've really took off. Um, the schools now, obviously because a lot of people now have got that gluten intolerance, so, uh, we, so we're supplying schools and everything now, they've really took on. The High Street Butchers will continue to run their family business for many years to come and manager Charles believes that it's still best to buy local. Well, obviously we source locally, so it's keeping the money in the community. We source um, most, a lot of our meat from Romsey, uh, some from Alderbury. Um, so yeah, and you actually get the service, going to a local butcher, it's not going to self-checkout. We'll have a conversation with you, we can bone things out for you, and roll things to whatever specification you, you like. In what's always a busy time of year for Pritchett's, the award-winning sausages and their certificates too are on full display in the shop window. Oliver Browning, that's TV.